Good morning guys. I am giving this room a little bit of a makeover because, well, welcome to my mess there. Yes, it, it definitely needs some help and I have really been neglecting it the past couple of weeks because we, uh, both Michael and I have been working so much. I haven't even hardly been in this room, um, let alone, you know, I've got my vanity and makeup over there. I guess I'm having chai this morning, coconut chai. I, I do need to get it squared away so I can come in here and enjoy playing with my makeup again. Um, which is kind of why I haven't been doing very many makeup videos lately because just this, this has just been such a disaster. So this was my crafting desk uh, for a while, but I, I kind of don't really need it. I'd rather have that space and utilize it for something else because I don't do crafts quite so often that I need to have a whole desk designated for it. So I'm going to do some switcheroos in here and see what we can come up with. So the first thing I'm going to do is put away all the stuff that has been left out because I am really bad at just like setting stuff down on, you know, tabletops and countertops and forgetting about it and leaving it there. And before I know it, I've got a giant mess going on. So everything that is out of place needs to get back into its place. So let's see here. I've got some sunblock and chopsticks. I've got some makeup. My friend sent me that. And then over here, this is actually a very special item here that I'm waiting to share in a video. Um, actually, there's several little items in there, but that was sent to me by a friend. So I can't wait to show you guys that, um, all the goodies in there. I've got to put away this nail polish. So I have my John Master sunscreen, which I'm actually going to set right up here because I like it to be really handy. Um, just for, you know, easy to grab, so I don't want to put it in my in my beach box up there because I, I grab that and put it on before I go work out in the yard. I've got my exercise ball down here, and that never really has a place to go. <laughs> it just kind of gets moved around from place to place, but I, I kind of got to have it because I really like that for working out with. Um, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, down here, these three mascaras. I did pick up a new one finally because I've been scraping. The, these are the last three of my little mini um, deluxe samples that I, I had like a dozen of them last year, as you guys know, and I didn't purchase any mascara last year. I just focused on using all of these up and I finally got down to the last three and they're pretty much all done. So I, I'm stoked. I finally finished all of those little mascaras and I've got a new one that I got to show you in my next haul, which is only, a, I don't know, like three items or something to show you. This is my empties little box there. So just tuck that away for my next empties video. Now this board I actually found at the beach and I fell in love with it because it was already like shabby chic. Like look at that. It was, it was already painted and the ocean just like, you know, roughed it up just beautifully. So that is something that I've been saving for the bright project. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but that's a really special piece. I know I'm kind of just piling everything over on my vanity right now, but that's very temporary. What I'm trying to do is just clear off this, um, this glass computer desk. I got this at, um, Office Max like a few years ago and I really like it a lot, but it just doesn't, it doesn't fit this room. Um, cause I have some different ideas of what I want to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and break that down. It folds up really nicely or, you know, the glass is separated and you can just, um, take that apart pretty easily and put the frame away and I'm going to tuck it in my closet for now until it actually has a good place to go because I don't really want to get rid of it. It's a nice table, um, but I just don't want it in this little tiny room right now. So I'm just going to clean this and then break it down. Ah, oh, fantastic. Look at all that space. That table was just so wide. So in a really small room like this, like for some reason, I don't know what it is, but rooms look bigger on camera, but I'm telling you, this thing is tiny. So that desk was taking up like this much space. It was just crazy. So it made it feel very claustrophobic in here. So I really just, I couldn't have both of them. So with all this space now, I can kind of play around with some different ideas. So I'm going to finish cleaning up. I'm going to move some of my um, crafting supplies and things like this. Like, remember this foam? This was from my uh, headboard that we did, the tufted headboard. So that stuff is expensive, so I'm, I wasn't going to throw away any of the scraps. I'm going to be using those in a future project. But I'm going to bundle them up and probably tuck those away in the in my same little closet in the bedroom because that kind of just holds like our vacuum and kind of like odds and ends sort of thing. We don't have a lot of storage, so that's I think going to be the best place to kind of put some of this stuff for now. And I have some fabric and 
poster boards, some other items that can go in there also. Wow, look at that. Look how much that opens up the room. Because my vanity is nice and narrow so that I can sit right against this wall. And that opens up this whole area because I really like seeing the full length of drapery or curtains. I just think, especially like um, these kind of, uh, well, sheer curtains. It just gives a nice kind of flowy, airy look to the room. I love these mirrored boxes. I just think they're so pretty. I love keeping my Zoya nail polish in here because... Oh, well, they're just like little gems. Being my favorite nail polish. Just keeps them all nice and neat and organized and dust free. All right, we're getting things sorted out. I'm just cleaning off my little mirrored drawer set here. And I think I might actually see what it looks like in that corner. You know, I think I like that a lot there. I'm gonna leave it there for a day or so and just kind of decide if that's where I want it for sure. But I think I'm pretty happy with it there. And it is on the edge of my rug here, so back here, and it's a really thick, fluffy rug. So you can see probably that it's like tilted like that, so it's like kind of facing up this way. So I need to have a couple of little risers, like little furniture pads on the back two legs so it can be even. But I think I'm pretty happy with that, and I'm going to leave it there for now. Alright guys, so I have a little bit of a home decor haul to share with you. Just a few items that I found at Ross. So let me start with these galvanized containers up here. This is a galvanized steel hammered, um, kind of like a beverage basin. If you've seen the beverage basins at Pier 1, they're, well, number one, they're outrageously expensive. They're like $50 to $80. It's kind of ridiculous. But these, like this one was 10 bucks at Ross. And I found three different sizes. So I picked up um, just a set of three. So there's the small one medium and large and I just thought these were so cool because I love the hammered look and they just give like a really nice classy but sort of rustic style I just thought it would fit in perfect with the sort of look that I'm going for in in our cottage here but right now I just have my shrub rose uh, sitting in here and look at that look at that that just that just makes my heart so happy I need more of those in my life. Look how beautiful that is. Now, I just have that temporarily sitting in there. It really wants to be outside. But it was a really super windy day, so I brought it inside because it was getting kind of beat up. And also, I like to look at it. Um, but yes, that is hopefully going to be a lamp up there. Uh, I haven't found the right lamp, but that's what I would like to see sitting in that corner. A nice little table lamp right there. So that is probably going to get moved around, but I um, just wanted to show you that. And these, I think, would be great to have, like, a, a large house plant in that and just have that be the decorative shell to the pot. I just think that would be really, really cool. And I have an idea for this already in the bedroom, so I'll show you that in a little bit. These, um, also three small galvanized containers. I like to use these in, like, for storing my, uh, my toiletries. You know, shampoos, conditioners, body scrubs, things like that. And I have an empty shelf that I thought these would be perfect for because I have a few products that don't really have a place to go and I think they'd be great just kind of like, you know, getting tucked away in there and then have those on the shelf. So that will work out perfect. These would also be really good for like storing makeup brushes. But yeah, those are great for storing pretty much anything. Washcloths, I mean, all kinds of stuff go great in galvanized containers. And I actually got this mirror on the same day that I got these containers. So I got it all at once. And then this is just a throw. I got that too. It was only $15 and it's a really nice plush, um, you know, really fuzzy kind of furry throw. And I thought it was cute because it was quilted. And I really like texture. I like creating texture in white rooms. Like a room with a white palette, if it's too white, it can look very sterile. Like if it's too, um, I don't know, too smooth and too kind of flat looking, it can be very sterile and not, um, not cozy. So I want to keep it very cozy in here. So I tend to like a lot of texture uh, just naturally. So, you know, I've got my, my fluffy white shag rug and I like to use, you know, like tufting and quilting and things like that to kind of give, you know, and even like the sheer curtains. So I just like a, a lot of different textures. So it keeps it um, a little more cozy. Uh, you know, with my little bits and pieces of the cool tone steels and sort of a rustic look as well. I should also mention that whenever something comes into the house now, this is a rule that I made from, well, like the beginning of the year, basically. Something comes in, you know, if I come across something, I just gotta have it Ross, then I have to let go of something. 
So otherwise, I don't let it in the house. So I picked up a few items, you know, here and there. So that means a few items are going to be leaving, which is perfect because I'm planning on having a little mini garage sale at the swap meet. Um, sometimes we set up a little table with our garage sale stuff. So this lamp is going to be one of those items because I've had it for a few years. It works great, but I just don't have a use for it and a place for it anymore. And it just doesn't really fit in the way that it used to in our old house. So, you know, sometimes that happens when you move, not everything from your old house fits into your new place. So that's just how that goes, but that works out great because I got, you know, some other ideas and hopefully a new lamp that'll be in that corner instead of this one, because this one used to be over there. So we'll see how that works. All right, guys, welcome to my bedroom. This is my least favorite wall in our room. This is a little area that I would like to make a little bit prettier. It's, it's sort of Michael's area, and so I don't want to, like, disturb it too much. I just want to add um, a little bit of ease to it because it's kind of a struggle. He's got some of his stuff up here. This is basically like his dresser. It goes all the way down to the floor, and it's a little bit discombobulated. He has a hard time finding things in it, and it's just not quite as organized and easy for him as I would like to see it be. So I'm going to see if I can just add my little touch to it and kind of make this wall a little bit prettier but at the same time not taking away the masculinity of it. Uh, I still want it to be Michael's place. I just want to make it a little bit easier for him. So let me see what I can do with this wall. I want to get this done before Michael gets home so I've got about 15 minutes. So first things first, get rid of all the clutter and everything that isn't supposed to be in here. Next I pull out all the drawers. I'm not going to organize these because I don't want it to be confusing for him when he gets back. I'll let him do that. I'm just going to do the basics. So I'm just flipping his dresser on its side and I'm going to push it up against the wall and then I'm going to put all his drawers back in. I'm bringing in this mirror. This is my old vanity mirror but I think it looks better in this room. We've had this dresser for years and it's terribly scratched on top so what did I do? I went to work with my sandpaper sanding the front and the edges and the corners to try to make it look like it's supposed to be that way. I know the perfect thing to go in the corner one of my new galvanized containers. And then I'm gonna bring in these Dracaenas, which are just cuttings right now. They're just in a mason jar of water. Michael loves to read, so he's got lots of books. I'm gonna grab one of the books and kind of use it as a coaster. This one looks pretty neat. So I'm gonna use this under the galvanized pot because I don't want the pot to scratch the top of the dresser any more than it already is. Just to recap, here's the before, along with my best disapproving camel look, and here's the after. I really like the overall look of having the dresser on its side rather than up on its end. I like this mirror in here as well. This was my old vanity mirror, but it has a lot of warmer tones to it, which fits this room better because this room has a lot more ivories rather than pure whites. This is also a little stand, a spice rack actually, that Michael got at Costco. He really likes it a lot. He's had it for years, so I brought it in here because he basically just uses it to throw change on and his keys and whatnot. And then I put one of our favorite candles up there. He also has a couple of stones uh, that he really likes. On this side, I wanted to add a little bit of greenery to kind of breathe a little life into the room. So I took Dracaena cuttings and put them in a mason jar full of water and placed it into this galvanized hammered steel container. I really love the look of these containers and I just think they really brighten up a room nicely. It's almost like having another mirror in the room just because it gives so much extra texture and reflection. I also placed a book underneath just to keep the galvanized container from scratching up the dresser any more than it already is. I like a little bit of shabby chic on the edges and corners but we want to keep it at that and there we go a very simple 15 minute mini makeover thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video